I think what this very well may be is stress corrosion cracking. I'm not sure. I thought it may have been some damage that was caused by dropping it or something because the fins were missing but then I realized oh this is a sodium hydroxide electrolyte the fins have been dissolved and that is aluminum oxide we're looking at also but this thing's definitely a mess it has a slow leak in it and I think that it's stress corrosion cracking I've done a lot of research on the subject and I have run this cell through a lot of hours or this radiator I'm sorry actually this radiator has been the workhorse of the last several hydrogen torches I've built now you see those pits right there ah there we go those are the little pits caused from Sodium hydroxide corrosion on copper. This radiator was hooked up to an electrolysis cell, which may have attributed to the corrosive nature. So, yeah, there's the pits that were leaking. It was a really slow leak, too. So, I basically, just put some goop on there and I'm heating it with a light. Good old crystal ball magnifying glass can't see it without it so that's where we are on that stress corrosion cracking had this been a high pressure system I might have had a bad day so keep that in mind I thought that using a totally brazed copper radiator all these joints are brazed. None of this is soldered. Thought I was safe, but uh, a pinhole in this system could spray you right in the eye or something. And definitely going to have to be careful. I need a new radiator. I'm going to repair this one and see how much longer it lasts. There's a possibility that the tubing itself had a factory flaw in it. I don't know. We're going to see how many more miles I can get out of this thing. Bear in mind this thing sat at times for a year with extremely caustic solutions of sodium hydroxide. Probably in excess of 10% by volume. 